Senator Elizabeth, uh, thank you again very, very much for having the privilege to host us here, uh, Senator Bedini. We would like to talk to you a little bit now about cultural diplomacy uh, and the relevance of cultural diplomacy for Italy and also for the world. So when we talk about cultural diplomacy, we very often think of the classical examples, Dante Alighieri or British Council or, or Goethe Institute. My first question to you, what is cultural diplomacy to you? Uh, or how would you see the role of culture in foreign affairs? What is cultural diplomacy for you? But I think there are um, different uh, uh, ways how uh, cultural uh, diplomacy can work uh, in the relationship within uh, 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 nations. Uh, for Italy, it's very important uh, because Italy has a, a, a tradition and history and uh, its identity is cultural identity, uh, both in uh, uh, literature, as you mentioned, Dante Alighieri or Leonardo uh, and uh, the, the Renaissance, but uh, also uh, in heritage. And uh, for us, uh, also in the future, we always say that what can cannot be localized is our uh, heritage, our um, uh, cultural traditions. So uh, is a key for our uh, economic development in, in the future. But uh, I think as our culture had the Mediterranean as uh, uh, the, 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 the place where um, it, 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 uh, yeah, where it born and where uh, yeah, it, it had a lot of de developments um, is also a key to 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 talk with and to have a field of understanding with Mediterranean people and peoples who, uh, who uh, go toward Mediterranean for escaping from uh, hunger and from war. So um, I think that culture uh, is a key of understanding, as a key for economic development and also of economic relationship. You, you know, uh, Italy had a, a, a huge role uh, in the uh, in, in peace building in Iraq, uh, in restoring uh, a lot of monuments which were uh, destroyed by war, um, and uh, uh, this may this was uh, uh, this was an instrument to 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 build a, a strong relationship, a strong and positive relationship within uh, Italians and uh, uh, Iraqi people. So I see for us is a, a really strategic um, key for our um, for our life, generally speaking, and for uh, for policymakers. So maybe just as a follow-up to that, I would love to hear from you where you see also the benefit of cultural diplomacy in terms of foreign policy for Italy and also maybe domestic policy. You mentioned a number of examples, for example, the Mediterranean, uh, which for many can serve as a barrier between cultures, but I think the Mediterranean can also serve as a bridge between cultures. Uh, so that would be one context. Uh, you also mentioned Iraq and the Middle East. And very often cultural diplomacy can help the way a country is presented abroad, also the way it's perceived abroad. Uh, and then you also made reference to the issue of immigration as well, and maybe the multiculturalism of Italy. So just a question, where do you think cultural diplomacy can benefit Italy? Uh, maybe you could give one or two examples, maybe within Italy, in terms of shaping Italian identity, multiculturalism, and beyond. Uh, can cultural diplomacy help uh, and maybe changing the perception or presentation of Italy in very different cultures, whether it's the Middle East or Asia or China? Yes, of course, but I what um, we talked about also um, uh, on the issue of uh, uh, interfaith dialogue. Culture is the, is the basis of um, uh, religious traditions and uh, every uh, and all the religions have uh, a, a, a common basis uh, in terms of spirituality, of uh, um, vision and um, uh, this common uh, 
uh, values uh, have deep root, deep common roots in culture. So I think that uh, it's a, um, a very important key for intercultural uh, relationship, for widening uh, uh, the, 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 the presence of Italy in all uh, countries you mentioned. Um, we, we now are uh, focusing on this uh, aspect of our, um, of our richness because I think that there are not so many countries in the world like Italy in terms of uh, uh, cultural heritage and cultural traditions and cultural um, uh, capability. You know, also the capability for which Italians are famous in the world, which, are, which is creativity, which is design, which is uh, uh, the, uh, everything is beautiful. Um, Comes from come from our cultural tradition, our um, sensitiveness to to the beauty, uh, to the arts, to the uh, landscape. So um, I, I think it's strategic uh, uh, policy for us and uh, yeah, the, the the work that your institute um, uh, brings uh, is very important for us. Thank you very much. My colleague would also like to ask. Yeah. Um, I was much more interested in, uh, <coughs> for example, in your daily working experience. How much do you use cultural diplomacy and the tools of cultural diplomacy to implement the process of, for example, legislations or even the relationship with the other countries? Um, um, I don't know, Mia, yeah, on my daily. Uh, life, but uh, for me, I uh, was elected in a in a region which is uh, very famous for its cultural heritage, which is Umbria, which is, which has a, uh, religious uh, monuments and tradition, and tradition of uh, uh, many many uh, artists uh, in the middle uh, in the Middle Age in the Renaissance. So for um, helping uh, this region to, uh, to to look at the future, uh, the the culture is a, is very important because uh, 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 on this basis uh, local governments are um, uh, thinking a new uh, a new model a new model of economic development. And this is uh, very important. So in Parliament, uh, we support uh, these local policies. Um, uh, personally, I presented a few uh, weeks ago uh, a, a document which was voted by uh, the Senate Assembly uh, to support the restoring and the, uh, the policy for culture of uh, all the cities uh, that uh, um, uh, in Italy run the, uh, the, the, uh, the game for the European game for uh, uh, Italian uh, European uh, uh, city of culture for 2000, for 2019, uh, and there, there were many candidates which. Uh, made a lot of project of restoring uh, or um, promoting uh, uh, monuments and historical uh, towns. Uh, so uh, we thought that how how um, uh, how way in in any way uh, this project had to be implemented. Also, if uh, only one uh, shall be the winner, but the. Oh, in all uh, these uh, about 20 ta uh, Italian middle-sized cities were made a lot of projects uh, based on culture and I think that um, this can be the, the, the key for the uh, de development of all these cities. So in, in our uh, policy making, culture is also a point of reference very, very strong. And uh, also, uh, just last question, uh, uh, how much do you think that uh, the Italian cultural heritage 
so linked with uh, our religious tradition, um, is a, a point of strength for the Italian for, uh, for Italian foreign policy, or is more a weakness? That uh, I don't know. For example, for the Italian image, how much uh, this helps the Italian image abroad, and how much it's it's the opposite. Uh, I think that uh, it is uh, absolutely positive if uh, uh, Italy uh, will be able also to give an image uh, of a country uh, which uh, looks to the future. If uh, cultural heritage uh, gives, uh, which is so 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 important, so so wide. Uh, gives the image of a, a country which is uh, blocked on, on its past, this is not positive. But I think that, as I uh, was saying before, uh, our culture is the basis to, uh, for new uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, for new uh, business, for new uh, ideas. And uh, if you if you look at Made in Italy, Made in Italy uh, is um, couldn't exist without our traditional culture. So this is my answer. Thank you. Senator, thank you very, very much for having the opportunity to exchange some dialogue with us on the topic. And we very much look thank forward you, to continuing you. our collaboration and hopefully to receiving you in Berlin sometime soon. With great pleasure. Grazie mille, thank you very much. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.